Thank you. I thank uh, Representative uh, Ledger Fernandez for yielding. Um, Mr. Speaker, I rise tonight to give voice to the millions of Americans who are calling on us to raise the wage. Our minimum wage workers, many of whom we've come to call essential workers, have a base pay of $15,080 a year. And you know, it doesn't take a PhD to know that you can't survive on 725. And yet we expect millions of our neighbors to do it, even during a pandemic and an economic crisis. From the North Carolina General Assembly to the U.S. House of Representatives, raising the wage has been part of my life's work. And I know how a couple of dollars an hour can be, can, can be the difference between pros prosperity and poverty. I know it because I've lived it. You see, my mom was a domestic worker. She cleaned other people's houses so I wouldn't have to, so I could focus on going to school and getting a good education. Day in and day out, I saw that no matter how hard she worked, her earnings were barely enough to get us by. Colleagues, this is not because she didn't work hard enough. It's because she didn't make enough. Now, decades later, that reality has only gotten starker and the need to address it more pressing. The minimum wage has been at $7.25 for over a decade, the longest stretch in U.S. history. Mr. Speaker, it's simply impossible to pay the rent and feed your family when you're only making $1,250 a month. And that's not far off from the average monthly rent of an apartment in Charlotte, North Carolina. Make no mistake about it, $7.25 is a poverty wage. And that's why it's time to raise the wage to $15 an hour. A $15 minimum wage would give 27 million low-wage workers a raise and lift nearly 1 million people out of poverty. And in my district in Charlotte, Mecklenburg County, raising the wage would mean giving a raise to working 80,000 women. 146,000 workers in the 12th district would see an average pay increase of over $4,000 a year. In this moment of crisis, as we grapple with COVID-19 pandemic, a $15 minimum wage is more important than ever. And it's also important to note that essential and frontline workers make up a majority of those who would benefit from this wage increase. I believe in essential wages for essential workers. And that's why we can't pay an essential worker or any worker a poverty wage. We must take action to deliver on our nation's promise of equal opportunity for all. And in the strongest possible terms, I urge support for increasing the federal minimum wage to $15. And if it can't happen in tomorrow's package, I urge our committee and this body to take it up next week because America cannot wait. Thank you.